animal litigation is the up and coming field in law right now. It is changing almost on a daily basis. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of pushback from cities. Um, part of the problem with New York ACC is they're under the thumb of DOH. Um, does nothing. Well, they do worse than nothing. They create the situation that exists. A lot of our suit is aimed at trying to separate ACC from DOA. Yes. Yes. yes! The problem is going to be in the next few stages. The problem is going to be that in the next few stages of litigation, we fully expect we fully expect the city is going to start, once we start discovery, turning over pages in the millions and attempt to pay for us to death. The problem with this litigation, I, I, <laughs> the problem with any litigation of this type is one of scope. Scope. We are going to need epidemiologists and statisticians and people who can code the stuff for them to massage the data and read it and go through it for what they want, all of which they will charge us for. Our biggest worry on this is that financing this litigation will run somewhere by the time it's done, if we get past the initial motions, in the 50 to 100,000 range, if not more. And that's what the city is banking on. The city has unlimited resources. The last set of papers, they had three attorneys working on that are noted on the papers. How many paralegals did the research? God only knows. That was in the state action. We're, appeal we're about to file the appeal on that, the notice of appeal. And we're going to be moving for stays there. In the federal action, we're about to amend to actually ask the city to have to pay indemnity for the damage they're doing. Once the city starts looking at having a multi-million dollar lawsuit, we fully expect this case is going to go to one of the tops of their lists as far as resources. We have a very good judge on this. She is cautious though. She's already told us what she needs and it is going to be to a large extent a contest of experts which means it's going to be long, paper-intensive, and unbelievably expensive. This is our, ne our next two challenges, are finding additional plaintiffs, because right now we, we have a class of one. We need, we need more plaintiffs, and we need to raise somewhere between 50 and 100,000 for the out-of-pocket expenses put things in perspective, a day of depositions can run $1,500 to $3,000. The experts, we expect, are going to want $15,000, $25,000 up front. And that's after the things are coded. So, basically, that's where this lawsuit is going to get won or lost. Like, can we get the data? Can we get it massaged? And can we get the statisticians and epidemiologists and veterinarians who will testify what we need to prove? Without those three things, this case will go very, will be very limited. With them, I think we can win and actually force the city to start paying 
and when paying to heal the animals is more expensive than doing what they're doing, they will have to do something different.